Hello friends. In the last video, we had a discussion on Piaget theory of cognitive development, and today we'll have a discussion on Piaget theory of moral development. Why both the theories? Uh, one video after that, that this video, because uh, as you know, the cognitive development is uh, very much linked with moral development. You cannot separate moral development from cognitive development, and you cannot separate both the cognitive cognitive development and moral development from your frontal lobe. So that means all the your frontal lobe is responsible for moral development and cognitive development. And so we will discuss today the uh, Piaget theory of moral development. And uh, as you know, Piaget was very much interested in cognitive development. While doing this experiment, he was he also developed the interest in uh, children's moral development. That means how the childrens, the young childrens, think uh, regarding the moral issues. And for that, he uh, just carried out an exploratory research by taking uh, the, some quality methods, uh, means interview uh, and uh, uh, observations and uh, he put forward some stories in front of some young, young children who are in the age group of uh, 5 to 10 and uh, try to find out their moral judgment, their moral understanding regarding this, um, this type of moral stories and uh, by collecting data from this exploratory research uh, he formulated this theory. What exactly exploratory research is? Exploratory research uh, that means uh, the, this research is used for undefined research problems. So for instance, a, a hotel owner having no idea regarding uh, if he increased the variety of items, then the customers will increase or not. For that, he may conduct, he may carry out an exploratory research and by using different techniques observation interview he may find out whether by increasing the number of items may increase the number of customers or not this is the one to one example of exploratory research so let us come to uh, piaget theory of moral development this theory uh, as uh, you know that Piaget was very much interested uh, in children's cognitive development and moral development. Piaget in 1932 was uh, 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 developed this theory and he was exactly not interested in whether children break the rules or not but in what way children think he was very much interested in that thing. Piaget for that Piaget scares out uh, three main aspects of children's understanding of moral issue. That means, first one is how children understand the rules. Rules, who makes the rules, can it be changed, unchanged forever, whatever may be, how children understanding the rules. Then second one is understanding how children understanding the moral responsibility. That means behavior is caused in terms of bad or good in terms of consequence. And is there any difference between accidental and deliberate wrongdoing? Then third aspect is children's understanding of justice. That means should the punishment fit to the crime or are the guilty always be punished or the guilty should be escaped or the, or the guilty should be forgiven. These are the three aspects children's understanding of rules, children's understanding of moral responsibility, children's understanding of justice. For that, during that exploratory research, uh, uh, PSA developed two main types of moral thinking in the age group of 5 to 10 years children. And he categorized this moral thinking into two main headings one is heteronomous morality that is that is otherwise known as moral realism which is uh, from five to nine years and the second one is autonomous morality that is moral relativism which is nine to ten years as ranges from nine to ten years and heteronomous morality or moral realism which is from 5 to 9 years in this age group children consider morality is obeying rules which is made by parents which is maybe made by god which is made by government government which is made by teachers 
and it cannot in no way it can be changed and breaking rules uh, leads to punishment and that did we believe in tit for tat or an eye for an eye principle that means if you do the wrong things then you will be punished there is no other ways and uh, they believe in immanent justice which uh, means interpret they interpret misfortune as if it, you know, we are some kind of punishment from god say for instance i am giving a story that uh, in a garden uh, orange garden say for instance in an orange garden two children just entered uh, to steal some oranges and uh, unfortunately one children was caught by the farmer and he was punished and the next one was escaped but while ran, running away his uh, foot was on a slippery log and uh, he fell down and uh, injured severely and if you put this dilemma in front of the children of so five to nine age group and they will say that uh, it is uh, the misfortune it is not misfortune it is the punishment from god they will not tell that the blog was slippery that's why the child fell down or um, injured severely they will tell that the child fell down because of the god punished the child this is called immanent justice and behavior can be so as good or good or bad in terms of consequences regardless on the intention of the reason without considering intention they will think that behavior is good or bad depends on it on its consequences you can see in this picture in this in this picture in the first in this picture the teacher is teacher is punishing the uh, child because he has not done his homework and breaking rules is leading to punishment then second in the second picture parents are punishing because of the child if the child breaks the rules the parents may punish and a child uh, believe that he, he has to obey the rules because of punishment and uh, rules and regulations laws all are rules cannot be can uh, rules uh, can rule be changed no rules cannot be changed so rules are forever and if a child escape from this in these uh, ways then he will be punished by the god and the child in this has the uh, called pre and concrete depression I'll just uh, remember about cognitive development theory this test is coming under pre and concrete operational stress and is a for instance if you put a dilemma another example i can, can give that a child who broke uh, six glasses uh, say for instance the child name was uttam six glasses while serving his friends for a novel purpose and uh, one child named Thanaya out of anger throw a glass and broke so if you ask the uh, child in the age group of five to nine who is not here they will tell Uttam is not here because he broke more than six number of glass instead of Tonya who broke one glass so here the child considers the consequences and the severity of consequences rather the intention behind it this is moral realism then second one is autonomous morality or moral relativism which is uh, coming from which is the age ranges from 9 to 10 years children as the children get older their whole attitude of moral questioning undergoes radical change that means their uh, way of thinking their way of moral judgment changes a lot and children recognize there is no absolute right or wrong and that morality depends on intention not consequences so in these tests i can understand what exactly intention behind it and should punishment fit to the child or not and the child overcome egocentrism egocentrism is nothing but the child think that when the child think that what he is thinking is right that means he cannot see others viewpoint so in these tests the 9 to 10 year old child he overcome the egocentrism and develop the ability to see moral rules from others point of view but others are thinking also what he the child can understand then making 
the more independent model in these tests child can uh, child can make more independent judgments children can now understand people make rules and can, that can be changeable also children do not just take the consequences into account they consider the motive or intention behind it and uh, in this age group the children believe that punishment the emphasis now moves from uh, retribution that means did for tat or an eye for an eye principle to restitution restitution that means bringing someone back to its original state that means not did for that but for correcting someone punishment is for correcting someone the child can understand this then for in case of, then for implication point of view we can say this theory can be applicable for teacher for teacher educator for researcher for curriculum framework how it is implicable you can see in the next slide as you know that moral development and cognitive development are both are very much related you cannot separate uh, uh, both the development from each other therefore the type of moral education suitable for children is as specific and will need to be varied as a child grows older and advances in intellectual growth so the type of education should varies as for the age next one is the traditional approach that means what we are following we are giving in classroom the punishment reward modeling all have a value and which can which should not be abandoned which is which leading towards moral development mm -hmm. the teacher should create an empathetic and atmosphere in classroom to foster moral development then uh, fourth one is teacher educator so train with a different brain compatible strategy for moral development of young students teachers then as as did this experiment with small sample hence a great scope for researcher the researcher can tag this as a whole and can develop new theory and curriculum framework may take suggestions from developmental psychologists stakeholders while framing curriculum so that the curriculum may include activities and strategies for formal development of children then in critic criticism he has used on the qualitative techniques like observation interview to talk just the moral development so generalization is a question here the as lens from uh, for moral realism and moral relativism is not appropriate as nelson rightly mentioned in 1980 found that the three year old could distinguish intention from consequences then uh, many psychologists argue that what is far more important is not what the children think about moral issue but how they actually behave which was uh, not answered by peers this is all about peers theory of moral development thank you and you can uh, find the peers theory of cognitive development in the link which is given and if you have any queries you can give a mail to me so that we can have a discussion on that thank you all have a nice day